Hey, it's Trails, and this week we've got content from Pole 76, a quick update on quest speedrunning, and some more Tombs of Amasca changes. Guys, I promise we're almost there. This raid just needs to be perfect. But first, some more cozy news, because the clan hall got some significant updates to further strengthen the bond between the players in your clan by repeatedly punching each other in the face in the new combat ring. On top of that, a party chest has been added to celebrate your well-deserved victory. The combat ring is located in the northwest section of the clan hall. It works exactly the same as all the others. It's a safe death, and the gloves and other player-owned housing items cannot be removed from the ring. So don't try sneaking them back to Falador. It's not gonna work this time. The clan hall party chests work just like the Falador party room. Tell your clan leader to set up the permissions in the clan settings, place your items in the party chests in the main section of the clan hall, and get ready to pop those balloons. Stackable items, including the noted ones, can be added to the party chest and will drop in bunches. The chest will also display a stack count just like banks and this will also be added to the main party room chest. No more counting up the items. Party Pete, you're welcome. Uh, thanks. To make things fair, items will remain on the ground for a full five minutes giving you plenty of time to grab your stuff. But watch out, the clan hall is still an instance so the party will go on as long as there's someone in the clan hall. But if everyone leaves, the instance will be deleted along with all the dropped items. That's the last of the poll 76 changes, but definitely keep an eye out for the upcoming blog which will tell you all the cool stuff you can vote on in poll 77. You can find this soon on the Old School RuneScape website. Let's keep partying and check out your league's accomplishments with the League Accomplishment Scroll, now located in the trophy room of your player-owned house. It contains all data from the most recent League Shattered Relics. You can right-click the scroll to see your stats from the League, the top 100 players, and all the Shattered Relics League firsts. Just like you, I can't wait for more information about the next League, but there's nothing to share, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer. But let's take a look at the latest updates from the leadership team because we now have a set date for the release of Quest Speedrunning. Starting Wednesday, October 12th, it's time to show other speedrunners what you're worth. One more round of review and feedback, an engine update, and a new pair of running shoes, and we're ready to kick off the official Quest Speedrunning Worlds. Also following your feedback, there's been a couple extra changes to Tombs of a Masket. Players are now able to drop the following potions anywhere inside the tombs and have them show up immediately, so that one friend that's hoarding all the supplies can finally tag along again. You know who you are. The bank animal's name will also now be a valid answer to the machete clam clue once you've learned it. Don't know what that means? Get yourself a camulet and find out. There's also been a couple hotfixes which you can find on this list. I'll give you a second to pause the video. Too late, just like some people in the PvP arena. No one likes a no-show. Right? In the PvP arena, these affect the matchmaking system, and they cause unnecessary frustration. To encourage people to stick around, there's now a system in place that penalizes players who fail to attend their duels. Rank points will now be automatically removed when players receive an invitation to a duel. But don't panic, they'll be restored as soon as you enter the staging area where the fight begins. If your duel partner fails to appear, your points will still be refunded as long as you yourself have made it to the staging area. This change won't really affect people who are competing in the PvP arena normally, but it's aimed at repeat offenders, not players who have to skip duels rarely for legitimate reasons. Lastly, there have been a couple of nice miscellaneous quality of life changes. For example, a check option has now been added to the Explorer's Ring, which will tell you how many Alks, Teleports, and Run Restores you have left. The entries and Boss and Slayer logs are also now sorted alphabetically. This tickles my brain really nicely, along with these small changes. The PvP Rota has once again moved to Period A, and I'll be Seeing you hopefully another time. That was awful. I'm sorry. I was only Trails for the OSRS weekly recap. My link will be in the description if you want to check out my channel. Thanks to Jagex for giving me the opportunity to host a couple of these, and I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.